How do you feel about pyramids? Do you think they're boring? Don't be so obtuse, man. Don't be such a square. What's up, people? Trace here for D News. When it comes to pyramids, there are a lot of stories, assumptions, and myths out there. Now, with the power of research, I will ruin these pyramid myths like Hatshepsut ruined statues of her predecessor. Pyramids are massive mountains of rock designed to protect and entomb a powerful figure for their journey to the afterlife. I say powerful figure instead of pharaoh or king because the Egyptians weren't the only pyramid builders. The Mesoamerican and Mesopotamian cultures also constructed pyramids, though the Mesoamericans had temples on the top to bring the priest kings closer to the gods, while the Mesopotamian pyramids called ziggurats were actually more like shrines or churches. In the end, Egyptian pyramids were far more massive, though constructed entirely for burial. How could separate groups all determine around 5,000 years ago that they should start building pyramid-like structures? It must be aliens. No, it's not aliens. The pyramid, for its size, is the most mathematically efficient way to build a tall structure that could hold the weight required. Prior to steel beams, we couldn't build straight up into the sky. Stone was just too heavy. So instead, math equal pyramid. Egyptians totally killed it when it came to building pyramids. No offense, Ramses III. The Great Pyramids at Giza are essentially man-made mountains. Yes, inside was a former king of Egypt, plus the wealth, the spices, foods, goods, and everything he would need for a happy ever after with the gods. But you know what wasn't in there? A curse. The mummy's curse became popular after the discovery of the undisturbed tomb of King Tutankhamun in 1922. The wealth of that ancient boy king astounded the public, and when the expedition's sponsor died soon after, they kind of erupted. Sure, the walls of the tombs contained molds and dormant bacteria like Aspergillus flavus and Niger, which can cause bleeding in the lungs, which sounds awful, and it sounds like the curse, but no, no, it's not a curse. There are curses inscribed on pyramids and burial grounds to scare the more superstitious of the Egyptian grave robbers, but the mummy's curse is a modern, not Egyptian concept. And that guy died of blood poisoning, not lung bleeding. Only six of the 28 people who discovered Old Tut died within the next 10 years. No curse. The Egyptians stopped building pyramids because if you're looking to hide a body to endure the rest of history, Maybe a giant mountain of man-made stone is <laughs> not the place to do it. After the Pyramid Age ended in the 18th dynasty, the kings of Egypt built tombs in the Valley of Kings under a mountain, which was shaped like a pyramid. I guess it's hard to break tradition. Tell us your thoughts on this and other pyramid schemes in the comments. Burial is crazy. I think I would want my remains to be shot into space. That would be pretty cool. Thanks for watching D News, everybody. Remember to walk like Egyptian, y'all.